Hey everybody, what's up? Jeff Blake here. I want to show you some cool techniques for getting your Photoshop content into your Flash movies. I'll show you a couple of neat techniques for doing this, as well as a few settings inside Flash to pull this off more efficiently. So I'm going to start things off here in Photoshop. This is an inked cartoon, an inked drawing that I've done here. And I'll give you a quick tour of how I've set things up here. I have my Layers panel open over here on the right-hand side, and as you can see, there are tons and tons of layers all kinds of layers in here to help me organize my work. Now, let me show you this as well. I have a layer in here called Inked Drawing and I've actually locked it down as you can see. So I'm gonna unlock it. On the Inked Drawing layer, I have all of the black lines inside my cartoon. And as you can see up at the top of the layers panel, I have the blending mode set to multiply. Now keep that in the back of your mind. More on that in a little bit once we get this guy into flash. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. I'm gonna lock them back down again. Nothing else really weird going on inside this Photoshop file. There's no editable text, there's no layer styles or anything like that, no other blending modes. Now before I pull this guy over into Flash, one thing that I would suggest doing is setting his color space to RGB. So I'm just going to double check that. I've already got him set to RGB here. Make sure your file is set to RGB as well if you're following along. Flash can do the color conversion, by the way, over from CMYK to RGB, but I think you'd be better off doing it here in Photoshop. Anyway, with that all good, make sure your document is saved, and we are now ready to drop him into our Flash movie. So I actually have Flash running in the background here with a brand new movie ready to go. Now, I want to point out something real quick. Notice the stage size, or my movie size, that I've set here. It's the default size, 550 by 400 pixels. Hang on to that thought just for a second. Now, to drop my Photoshop file, my fully layered Photoshop file, by the way, directly into my movie, I'm going to go to the File menu, down to import, import to stage. There's my Photoshop file sitting on my desktop, .psd. Click on import. All right, I get my PSD import dialog box coming up. This is brand new in Flash CS3, by the way. So what I can do now in Flash CS3 is come in here and decide which layers from my Photoshop file I want to include and which ones I want to leave out. In this case, though, I'm going to make sure I'm bringing everything in. I want the full cartoon. The other thing that I can do is if I highlight an individual layer, I'm going to get some extra options over here on the right-hand side. For example, I can bring in the layer as a bitmap image with editable layer styles, or as a flattened bitmap image, or a flattened raster image. Or I could bring this guy in as a movie clip symbol, and I could give him a name there if I wanted to. And then underneath that, I have some published settings. So how much compression do I want to use? That sort of thing. Now, if you recall, the inked drawing layer back in the Photoshop file had a blending mode set for it. So I'm going to highlight my inked drawing layer, and I'm going to set it to bitmap image with editable layer styles. Turn that guy on. Notice, by the way, when I choose that, by default, it's going to create a movie clip symbol for this guy. Notice the icon changed here. That's the icon for a movie clip symbol, by the way, inside Flash. Finally, down at the bottom of the dialog box, convert my Photoshop layers to flash layers or keyframes. I'm going to make sure I'm set to flash layers. Place layers at original position. And this one's kind of a neat one. Set the stage size to the same size as the Photoshop canvas or the Photoshop file. So my Photoshop file has a canvas size of 1,050 pixels by 500 pixels. I'm going to turn that on. Do you remember the default size of the flash stage before I went to import my Photoshop file? Well, here, I'm going to set my stage to the Photoshop file size. Click on OK. All right, everything loads in here. Now, lots of things to show you. First of all, I'm going to single click outside of the stage, just over on the side here. There's my stage size right there, 1050 by 500. So it did indeed change the stage size of my flash movie. Fantastic. Here's something else for you. Over inside my library panel, over on the right-hand side, there's a folder for my Photoshop file, robotlounge.psd. There he is right there. Double-click on him. I get a graphic for every single layer inside the Photoshop file. Look at them all. They're all in there. These are all my layers from Photoshop. I know they're graphic because of the icon and also because when I double-click on them, I get this dialog box here. Now, remember that inked drawing layer? There he is there. He's a movie clip, though. Look at his icon. Double-click on him. 
takes me into the symbol editing mode inside Flash. There's my whole layer. I'll go back to scene one here. Now remember that that inked drawing layer had the blending mode on it, right? Watch this. Up on the timeline, by the way, look at all the layers inside the timeline there. Every single Photoshop layer now has its own layer inside my Flash movie. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock everything and then unlock my inked drawing. Single click on him on the stage. There he is right there. Down on the property inspector, my blending mode inside Flash is still set to multiply. In other words, my Photoshop blending mode got carried over into the Flash movie. Pretty cool. Okay, awesome stuff. Pretty easy to get your Photoshop content into your Flash movies. However, there's a few more things I want to show you. I'm going to head back over to Photoshop because I'm wondering about copying and pasting content. In other words, copying some content from Photoshop and pasting it over into my Flash movie. Well, I'm going to grab my rectangular selection tool here and marquee over top of an area that I want to copy. Now, I'm not going to do a plain old regular copy. Instead, from the edit menu, I'm going to choose copy merged. In other words, I want to copy from all the layers inside my Photoshop file. Back over to Flash, I'm just going to do a straight paste. There's my pasted Photoshop content. Now, it got pasted onto my inked drawing layer because it's the only one that I have unlocked right now. That's why it appears behind these word bubbles and so on. That's all right. This is just an example. Notice, though, inside the library panel, I have another graphic symbol that's been created here. So whenever you paste from Photoshop, you're also going to get a graphic symbol. Hope you're liking this. One more thing to show you. I meant to show this when I recorded the video tutorial for working with Illustrator and Flash. Completely slipped my mind, but I'll show it here because it also relates to Photoshop. Uh, I have what are called AI importer preferences and PSD importer preferences. Uh, I'll show you this real quick. If you head to your Flash menu up at the top here, this is on the Mac side anyway. On the Windows side, you're going to have to head to your Edit menu. You're looking for your preferences. Once you get inside your preferences, down towards the bottom, there they are right there. PSD file importer, AI file importer. Let's take a quick look at the PSD file importer options here first. These are your default settings for controlling how Flash handles Photoshop content. So you might want to take your time and go through some of these. I'll just show you a couple of quick ones here. Uh, import image layers as bitmap images with editable layer styles, flattened bitmap images, or I can create movie clips. How do I want to handle text? Make it editable text. Give me vector outlines or flattened bitmap images. How do I want to handle shape layers, layer groups, and merged bitmaps? Hopefully pretty straightforward. Let's take a quick look at the AI file importer options. So when I'm bringing content in from Illustrator, how do I want to handle text? Give me editable text. Give me vector outlines. Give me rasterized or bitmap images. How do I want to handle paths, images, groups, and layers? Anyway, there you go. So like I say, spend some time goofing around with these options. So there's a look at working with your Photoshop files inside your Flash movies. I hope you learned lots. Have lots and lots of fun. Take care.